Hey, today we will uh, start with the lesson number two. In this uh, lesson, we will learn how to connect uh, any web URL and uh, extract uh, HTML table out of that uh, web URL or web page. So in this uh, tutorial, I have selected to go with this uh, normal coronavirus data from the Wikipedia. So I will just copy this URL first. And our goal is to get this data and uh, you know transform this data according to our uh, requirement because this table is having uh, uh, one two three four columns and then uh, in this particular two rows there is no columns so in this case we have to remove this thing uh, so we'll try to remove these three columns and we'll have at the end we have Sri Lanka and on top we have China and we will rename this China uh, main lane to only China so that's the goal uh, for this today's lesson let's minimize this and uh, get it on uh, Power BI now click on this uh, get data here and go to the web okay let's paste the URL here so Okay, so it started uh, loading some tables. It's extracting some action is happening right now. Okay, so this is what we need actually. This is the title of that table. Let's select this table and say load. Now once that is load, we will first uh, do some transformation, clean up the data. Okay, we'll remove some unwanted things from that tables. And then we will work on the visual. So you can see this table is having uh, this uh, name and this, these are the fields. So let's click on this and go to edit query mode. Okay, so let's have let's have this as a coronavirus outbreak. Okay, and now see first of all I want this uh, first record as my first row as a header. So that's what I did now. Okay, now second thing bottom I want to remove one two and three rows so you can see this icon here so you want to perform something on the table you will go to this icon click on this uh, down arrow and you will find here um, remove bottom rows and it will ask you how many rows you want to remove from the bottom so I will say three rows okay done now here you will find there are some dash okay and uh, this is uh, this values are currently are uh, like a text the whole thing is a, as a text because we pull from the web page so now our goal is uh, if you want to perform some uh, uh, mathematical operations on here aggregation or something so we need this as a whole number or integer number so first thing first let's do this thing so we'll say change the type to whole number here also I want to change the type so right click and then change the type to whole number now here it will be uh, difficult because they we have some dash in between so what we will do we will do we'll remove this thing uh, with the we replace this thing with zero as of now for just a convenience so right click and say where is the replace okay replace Is that this one or this one? It's to see what happens. Or like, let's check it once. Copy. Oh, it's saying replace value directly. Okay, so this I will replace with zero. Okay, and then I will say convert to 
whole number. Now, so this three columns now convert it to the integer values and this is in text. Now one more thing pending, this China I want to replace the value with only China. So that will make it easy for our map, any uh, ArcGIS map or Power BI map. So it will work smoothly. And then say apply Or you can click directly on this button so it will actually first apply and then close so okay so things are done okay and now we will rename this with the country only okay so now you can see the symbols here that allows aggregation here so it's an integer value and this is the text value now if you select the country it will automatically pick the map visual you can see this right now if I select confirm it will go to the size here directly and you will find the highest number of confirmed cases 78k in China and it's showing a big bubble there so this is how you can use the map and you can add additional information here as well and you can uh, track these values in tooltip one by one. So now you will take on the bubble, you will find this all the information here. Now we will create another visual. In this here we will see on this page, I want to, you know, do something with the page first. Let's have what kind of size I have. So you can select a different kind of page size type is there. So like we have page size and there are different type of sizes like it's normal like 16 gem 9, 4 gem 3 or later or tooltip or custom. So let's have later for now. Or you can, it's best you go with the 16 gem 9 first. And then uh, background color I will set for now. Something like this. Uh, you will see there is no change here because the transparency is 100% so it's nothing going to change here. Now you can see I made the transparency zero you will see the gray color or uh, whatever color you want you can go and select that color. Okay, so let's keep this as of now and then uh, now I want to show some data here with uh, No, this bar chart okay and let's okay, country and then country here okay in bottom I want countries and uh, I want this data okay value is there what you can do is here you can see our fields here first filter okay fine so this how you can add this uh, values as of now or you can uh, go with how many deaths happen and uh, or you can have confirm deaths confirm cases versus death so this is how it show looks here Let's keep it here. You can enable some grids here so it will be easier for you to calibrate. And then you can select any other visual here. Let's have some map here. If 
Power BI map and on this map uh, let's say country confirm cases okay this is how it will look and then let's have some other visual Here I would like to show some data with uh, let's country on axis and then you will have like uh, how many dates happen or how many recoveries happen. So, date, confirm cases also is there. So, you will find the China only, most of the cases. You will find the China as the highest one. So, this is how we can place this one and uh, also we can add some, uh, you know, some kind of uh, logo here or some title. Let's say let's have this title copy and paste it here. Select let's have thirty six or thirty two. Okay, let's say center. Okay, so this is how our very initial draft uh, dashboard is ready with the web URL. So this two, and it is interactive. When you click on that, so you'll find the data here, or you can select the confirm cases. some data here okay so it's uh, interactive and this okay guys so this is for this video I will see you in the next video with uh, new uh, new visuals we will talk about new visuals we will talk about some new data and we will learn uh, slowly now we, we will cover lots of this uh, functionality edit query and uh, functions and uh, conversions and the different gate uh, data we already covered excel and uh, sql server and uh, csv files and web and mysql so slowly we will cover other data sets uh, to get the data into the power bi so like share and subscribe Please write down your comment that will inspire us to create more videos because we want to know uh, on which data set or uh, what uh, issues you have or uh, what kind of videos you want to see. So please comment and uh, have fun with the Power BI. Thank you guys.